Okay, just to preface this video, uh, this is a reading of a group project where we had, we each wrote one line on a paper, we passed it around, we added new lines to it and made this crazy hilarious story and this is my professor reading it. Um, this is from our creative writing class and this was our last day of class. I hope you enjoy. I'm here in a world of dark deadness and somehow I feel alive. You think it's lonely or tiring, constantly trying to stay alive, but that's exactly why I love it. The thrill, the prospect of death is so compelling, so intoxicating. If I survive, I get to keep surviving. If I'm turned, I get the fun of eating people. I've always kind of wondered whether it tastes like chicken. Maybe, no, you wouldn't taste like chicken. Too stiff. Maybe like lamb or pork with extra garlic. There was that explorer guy from Spain in the 1400s who was killed and eaten just because he discovered the world was huge and round and he didn't make it back home. And to think I'll end up like him, eaten and never returning home. Of course, I hope not, but I have a funny feeling. I think I'd have fun, but if I died, I wouldn't have this intoxicating anticipation, the thought of death, viewing it like a tunnel of optical illusions or life or death. I like the taste of sunflowers. They taste almost like dandelions, which is almost like those cloudy white weed plants. My owners think it's strange, but I keep eating the buds off their golden, their garden flowers, so I keep getting in trouble. They don't understand that they're my favorite, and I just can't stay away. They're just best tasting thing ever. I can't stand the judgment, man. Many people don't like them, but I do. I've never stopped liking them, no matter what. Begun making tea and sticker bookmarks I'm a deer, shining in the headlights of terror, the deer about to be smashed into the road by flavor, flavor town, decimated by the most incredible flavor bomb, Blah. flavor bomb of flowers because flowers are the best flavor, I don't understand why, but the taste of flowers is what heaven is, the grainy feeling of the seeds, the softness of the petals, straight heaven, the head of the fences around the Overland Park, Arboretum and botanical gardens because they spend thousands of hours curating exotic petals and the deers eat them. We eat them, y'all. We have to break <laughs> down the barriers. It's time to join up, take a stand for all of mankind. Each fly up. <laughs> I drove north and never used my keys, or at least I think it's north. I'm honestly not quite sure. I never knew how people could just tell. I think by the way the sun sets or something, but I'm done. What can I say? Anything at all. Somehow I drove my car north without using my keys. I wish I had a compass. I wish I knew where I was going. I don't think I'm pressing the gas anymore. I just checked. I'm not. Why did this have to happen on Christmas Eve? I just wanted to visit my grandma. Maybe I don't want to see my grandma. And that's why I drove north with no rhyme or reason. Maybe I wanted to be lost. Maybe I hate Christmas. Maybe the other world wasn't meant for a soul like mine. It should have been someone better, someone whole, someone with a fire in their heart, but I have no fire. I am cold, so very cold, like the fresh sheet of black ice on the side street. Cold and dangerous, that's how I drove north, with no keys. I got, I hotwired the car, learned, learned from my dad. Grandma wouldn't be happy with him. He opened the door to find a lockbox, a wardrobe, a man in the closet. He sneezed in my eye. He stomped on one foot and dropped the lockbox on my other foot. I smashed the man in the face. He looked at me in shock, but ended up punching me in the same eye that sneezed in. Talk about a dirty man. That was so gross. Grosser part, you ask? He never washed his hands. It's literally August, and it looks like he hasn't washed his hands since December. There's mold growing on his hands. Some don't, some sort of fungus fastening. I'll see a doctor with those hands, but he may not even take him, take him rough like sandpaper. You know how it feels when a cat licks you? Yeah, that's how his hands felt. I wonder how they got that way. Maybe I should pity him. I can't explain the hate. It's just gross, really. Hard working or not, life is hard, then you die. Yesterday was Wednesday, and I'm really tired. Today's Thursday, and I'm really energetic. Tomorrow will be Friday, and I will be angry at nothing. Saturday is the day I get to pull out the machete. By Sunday, I'll forget all about it. On Monday, I'll see my crime on the news. By Tuesday, I'll have to hide out in my basement. I'll have plenty of VHS, age tips, VHS tapes down there to entertain myself in December when keeps the underground cold. Soon it will be Wednesday again. Maybe I'll watch Wednesday then. That little hand guy always
please give me the creeps. Morticia is a <laughs> M-I-L. Is it A? Oh, it's an M. It's an M. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Mill. It's a Jill. She is. Oh, You're She's not so lying. hot. That's fine. I binged the show, probably cringe at myself for it later. I've watched it so good. Then hit another. Friday is tomorrow today. I'll bake bread. Tomorrow is Saturday. Today, I'll make chili cheese fries. I don't know how I ended up here. I just know it wasn't supposed to be like this. I mean, if I'm being honest with myself, I think some part of me always knew, but not really. I'm always clueless. I never know how things happen or how I get into certain situations. But fuck. It's exhausting being so confused all the time. I'm constantly, blatantly unaware. It's sickening. That's what being a dinosaur is like. That's what being exhausted in a world that never stops going is like. Shoveling your driveway after three feet of snow. That's right. I'm 102 years old and I have to shovel my own snow. No one wants to help a geezer like me, but it's okay. Shoveling snow days, the bills. Shoveling snow pays the bills. When you're 102, you have a lot of bills. If I hadn't been such a delinquent back in the days, maybe they wouldn't have taken my pension. Romeo, Juliet types beat. I don't think I'm out of the quote that relationship, that. but what I don't know won't hurt me. That's what we all tried to do our whole lives, surviving. Hell, surviving the unknown is all I've ever done. Maybe knowing nothing is what everyone needs. Maybe getting older, but never wiser, is the key to life. Those eyes were watching me constantly. I could see them floating in the darkness, but it was everywhere. He blinked or squinted. My body could feel a sharpness, like knives digging into my skin. The person doing so was passionate about their actions, as if I caused their pain. Yet when I was drowning in the flames, they caused, they laughed. There was no way I had caused this. There was no one. I had wronged. I, at least as far as I know, but I don't know. And that's what scares me. I reached out the tendrils of my extremities, feeling them out. They felt like a soft pink, a slimy goop, something disgusting that people avoid or put beads and sparkles in and play with. Isn't it right or wrong, I wonder? But any answer wouldn't save me. The flames, the eyes, why am I here? What did I do? How could this be how it ends? I look down at the pains in my hand, the palms of my hands, the X's are there too. I face my palms forward. It's the light above goes out, and I see myself looking at me. Dictator, this warmonger that. Dictator, this warmonger that. What happened to good old small scale terrorism? What happened to Molotov cocktails? Did they fall out of style? What happened to drinking merrily? Guess people change. What happened to drive in movies? How could something so good go to waste? What happened to mustaches? Are they just that ugly? What happened to bow ties? They look so dignified and majestic. They were over glorified and looked obnoxious. The thought above this doesn't even match the thought above that. How did this happen so quick? Let's bring it back. What happened to the amazing love from the past? What happened to Legos and Blackberries and Jenga? No, but what about the fact that we just went through a new version of Prohibition because we smoked the ganja in her boyfriend's friend Kyle's basement, and now we can go to the local dispensary and take up and toke up. Hell yes, it's about time. What happened to mass genocide? And then being resolute and are denying it despite all the evidence against us. I mean, but what happened to parents threatening their children with a switch and countries threatening smaller countries with massive atomic bombs? Yola Tango is on repeat on my CD player while I watched the neighbor's house burn. I sat on the porch enjoying my coffee and music while the firefighters fought to put the fire out. I realized some popcorn would go good with the show. Add some butter, powdered cheese, MVA. <laughs> Chef's kiss, you're gonna have to watch. Oh, it may burn. Smoke filled the kitchen as I started the fire and couldn't help but smile. They would never know that I was the one who lit it. I was bored and their dog annoyed me, but lots of things annoyed me. I was just bored. I was bored until the sun stopped shining. I liked the sun, so I was kind enough to turn their house into one. Personally, I prefer the moon. Blood moons are my favorite. They're none like my smile. And when you can see the man in the moon, I love that. He waves down at me and I wave back. And he reaches down his arm to me and passes me a lighter. Commit arson, my child. I give you <laughs> so thank you, you maniacs. Um, that was terrific. So uh, 